Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Okay, so yeah, that was the intro to Grim Fandango Remastered. Yeah, so... So yeah, uh, I'm kind of stumped here because it dumped me straight into the game. I kind of expected that to be a main menu, but apparently not. Apparently Double Fine are too cool for that. So yeah, this is a remastered version of uh, Grim Fandango, which uh, came out in 1998. And... yeah. Uh, yeah, so this was a PC game. I always liked the old LucasArts adventure games. But uh, I didn't play them that much because uh, I wasn't a member of the Master Race. And uh, yeah, so now I was really giddy when this uh, was announced on PS4, PC and also the Vita, which I haven't tried out yet because I haven't downloaded it. I will do later, probably looks and plays just fine. First, uh, I'm gonna see if I can activate some subtitles here. Oh, is that an item? I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Ah, there we go. Options, voice and text, here we go. Yeah, let's try out the tank controls, yep. Okay, so that 4 was one of the new features, that was the uh, better control scheme, which worked great, but here we have tank controls, which is 
Great, lots of people complain about this apparently back when this came out, but guess these people just suck. Because I don't know, I really don't see any problems with it, it's like Resident Evil. So yeah, this is an old point and click adventure game. That means uh, we'll have to check everything. Because why not? Read them already. Didn't help. <laughs> yep, self help self help books. So I gotta say this looks really good. I mean character molds are awesome, the backgrounds look great. You'd expect this to look like ass, but nope. It's all good. I somehow feel that Final Fantasy VII Remastered won't look nearly as good as this. Yeah, since PS1 game and all. I don't know how it looks on Steam. Probably like shit, but who knows. Oh, and then... Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. <laughs> okay. So... Oh. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. So why is he holding that card? I don't feel like pitching cards right now. I don't keep meaning to mark these cards. Okay, so I have to press circle to put the inventory back in. I get it. So, read them already. Good old solitaire. That's probably a, that might have been a joke about Windows. Who knows? It was ninety eight. Whoa, door. Okay, good. So yeah, I'm not gonna make a let's play of this because this game is apparently hard and you don't want to see me fuck around for hours trying to find the right solution to puzzles I can't solve. Oh shit. I like the voice acting. He sounds kind of like John DiMaggio. Not the voice of Bender a bit, so uh, there was something in here. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. So yeah, many is Mexican, so I don't know if every character is Mexican in this, but it's heavily uh, themed after Dia de los Muertes, I think it's what it's called. Which is some, um, uh, what's this, cloud? Huh? Mexican holiday. Don't know much about that, probably more popular in the US, since we are Europeans are kind of lacking in the Mexican department. What's this, oh man. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. <laughs> Let's see. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was. Nope. Nothing else. That sucks. I also like the fact he's looking at stuff that's interesting. Wait, can I put something in there? This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Let's see. I keep meaning to mark these cards. It's some sort of special work order. Mm hmm. <coughs> Neat. So yeah, he has a scythe. I like to keep a nick. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up. My, I don't want to mess up my blade. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. So yeah, uh, they also announced that uh, Day of the Tentacle will also come to PS4, Vita, and PC, which is apparently very good. I've never played it, so uh, people should buy it. This too. So okay, if you pun if you press R one, you get to run. Runs fast too. Locked. Probably scared. I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, <coughs> actually. Ah. 
What's this? The boss man doesn't want to be disturbed today. I like these little pneumatic tube systems. Do people still use those nowadays? Okay. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos? Of course it's gazpacho, because they're Mexican. Why wouldn't it be? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud, he'll know. Oh yeah, by the way, in the off chance that Tim Schafer is listening to this, I would do many, many things if you could get Monkey Island 3 on the Vita. Just saying. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, if the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here. Dead exposition. Only to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. <laughs> well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the <coughs> offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. Fat you days. Know the rules. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. <laughs> Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Coppel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will you? I don't love these, these never-ending conversations. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Busy as... I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Manny, if you don't Ooh, mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Then let's proceed to the gazpacho poisoning. Wait, there's something to pick Manny. up. Right. No. Nope. Money if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so can I use my objects with this? He wanted to mark the cards. Let's try this. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Awesome. Any more holes and it would fall apart. I'm sure this won't come in handy. And I already showed you how to get two trophies. Am I not awesome? Oh, there's two elevators. Mm. Oh. Mm, that's good 90s FMV. I don't know where the other elevator leads though.
Not then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Well, there's no clever dialogue for a locked door, Schaefer. How's it hanging? How's it hanging? How's it hanging? No. Oh. Yeah. So I remember the only t I played this once back in the days. My uh, stepdad's work PC it was a demo version. Remember the days when demos came in ma came in magazines. Oh, entire new area. Okay. No. Okay, good. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. <laughs> Let's see. What Junior? Mm -hmm. There she is. The number nine. One of these days, I'm going to ride her right on out of here. There she is. One of these days. It's locked. Shit's locked. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh. Alright, I'm outside. Should I go check out the garage? I know what's screw it. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Ganyos. <laughs> I remember the mostly... See, they can get away with excessive swearing here because nobody understands it since it's, in, since it's in Spanish. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. <laughs> I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost... Oh. Petrified forest, huh? No. Nope. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. <laughs> the petrified forest Ruba Cava. Not really that far away, but to me they might as well be on the other side of the world. Eight kilometers, that really isn't far. Two hours tops, if you're slow. Hello? Uh -huh. Hello? 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 It's huge. I can't open it. Huh. This is interesting. I think this wasn't a demo, I vaguely remember this. Huh, dead birds. That's a nice touch. No, no use for it. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. Probably. Shit, I just missed that dialogue. <coughs> Hello. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. I would love to search. To all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. What an asshole. <laughs> I would love to search. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the... No time to ransack. If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. Oh well. Let's get to that poisoning. I can't believe it. Oh well. 
So, gotta get to the garage then, I think. Well, no, they can't operate cars. Seriously, I don't get the deal why people complain about the tank controls. Are people nowadays just too stupid for them? Is that it? Ah. Oh. Some reason the dead clown is less creepy than the live one. Robert Frost. Trying to stop me, eh? Ta da! <laughs> My kid, though. Ah, oh, jeez. A dead one. Heck, that's easy. <laughs> There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons Okay, he was holding the item. My kid a dingo, that's my specialty. Ta da Nice. My kid dodge. Okay. I can't no problem. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? <laughs> Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. <laughs> you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? Iceberg. <laughs> Bang! Uh, another one. Lousy bony fingers. Did you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow. Oh. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? <laughs> Neat. <laughs> They're just full of party favor. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. That means bread of the dead, I think. Just put it in there. I have to eat. All right. Stole some bread. Got a lot of balloon animals. Life is good when you're dead. So, uh, <clears throat> to that garage then. I remember the year. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't ah. get Damn it. <laughs> okay, I do see the tank controls are a bit finicky at times, though. Uh, upstairs. <laughs> Okay, so they can't operate cars, and yet there's cars everywhere in the garage. What? The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Guy no, driver demons. Somehow. Okay. Ah, stupid invisible walls. Is that quick turn here? No. It's locked. Hey, who the who's messing with my stuff? Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. 
I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Mmm, sabotage. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive <laughs> or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Nice hut. Yeah. I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a joke because he smokes. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ah, no. Why is a skeleton no, smoking no, anyway? Just wrench him. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would <laughs> agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Not even if I solve a convoluted puzzle first. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm 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 too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Perspective. Yeah, dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick Torch job to let out the seams, you know? Uh, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, oh, well. <laughs> getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Mm. I wonder if I can sneak into the boss's office now. Ooh. What the? What's shining? Oh, whatever. Let's check the inventory. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. This doesn't look anything like it's a deflated balloon. <laughs> It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. Racist. It's a squeaky little kitty. The bread of the dead. See, I was right. I've got to get this work order signed. My sight. I like to keep this deck of cards as a little freight around the edges. Then again, so am I. All I've right. Suits. Let's sneak into the office. What was that rope even there? Someone else sneak in it into it. What the? Oh, seems like a glitch. <laughs> Good job, Double Fine. It's not like this is a game from 1998. <laughs> okay. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom.
Hmm. I'll just change his auto response here. Are you trying to lose your job? Is this part of a puzzle? Ah, oh, crap, David! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm oh, busy. right. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what I have to do. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning, but me. No time to. He's got a lock on him. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. I'll come back after the. I'll come back. Okay, nothing else, I guess. <laughs> Good, gotta talk to the secretary then. Get it signed. <clears throat> what the? Hello? Wait, no, that was completely useless. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> okay, no idea what that's about, but... Uh. Something glowing there. Is that a cigarette? No. Man, can't wait to see how this looks on the Vita. Probably good. Duke Nukem 3D looked very good on it. Uh, wait. Duh. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> no, no. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, crap, David! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Damn, I'm good. You'll have to excuse him, Mammy. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle <laughs> he's got in there today. Eva, I mean. Rest. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. <laughs> oh man, the 90s. Remember can you, when you could still smoke in the workplace? Or anywhere? Is slimming. I'm driving, yeah. I'm driving. <laughs> oh, favor. I could have walked faster than this. Uh, <laughs> híjole, I'm going to miss the poisoning. What the hell? Oh god! Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. Oh good. Not the only one in this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here. Gave you a nice little presentation of this. So yeah, uh, if you buy this game, we might get more uh, Double Fine games remastered. Tim Schafer himself said so on Twitter. 
something called Full Throttle, which uh, I don't know much about actually, it's about bikers. Probably better than Red than Ride to Hell Retribution. Maybe. Uh, yeah, buy this game, it's 15 euros, 15 dollars, whatever the fuck it costs in a pound. I don't care. <clears throat> buy it, support double fine. And holy shit, this creeps me out. So yeah, uh, bye.